Gentlemen, when it comes to men's style, there are four basic levels of dress. You've got formal, when you wear a tuxedo. Semi-formal, or business, you wear a suit and a tie. Business casual, you're losing the tie, maybe throwing on a sweater or a sport coat. And then everything else falls into the casual bucket. But personally, I feel like all casual style was definitely not created equal. There's casual, and then there's casual cool. Casual cool is refined, sexy, with a dash of danger. Danger. Style with attitude, and today I'm going over the Alpha M10 rules of casual cool. The number one rule to casual cool is that you can't look like you're trying too hard, but on the flip side, you also can't look like you just rolled out of bed. Casual cool look is something that was put together purposely. You can't exactly identify what one item or two items make it so damn sexy. It's just a feeling, it's an essence, it's an energy. Number two, basic is best. Stick to basic styles, basic fits, nothing too trendy, nothing too over the top. You want to make sure that the look you're going for is timeless and classic, but sexy and stylish. Number three, don't over accessorize. I see tons of dudes that are just accessorized like to the max, right? They've got chains, they've got bracelets, they've got rings, they've got watches, they've got bracelets, they've got like, like just a lot of stuff going on. Keep it simple, accessorize, but tastefully. Fourth rule to casual cool is no shiny shoes. You can't wear shiny shoes with jeans, with chinos. It's not casual. They're dress shoes. The fifth rule of casual cool is all about clothing fit. It should be fitted, not tight. And the line sometimes is a little bit blurry. Sometimes you get something and you're like, yeah, this is awesome. And I'm like, no, this is a little bit too tight. The reason is because when you wear something that is too snug, it looks like A, you're showing off, or B, it's too small and you don't understand what size you need to buy. But on the flip side, clothes shouldn't be big, baggy, loose, and long. I know that a lot of long line t-shirts are popular, sagging jeans, if you can see your underwear, it's not good. Since we're talking about things that shouldn't be showing, number six is no visible undershirts. So for me and most stylish men, undershirts are a necessary evil. The reason, sweat rings. One of my biggest style pet peeves and like looking good kryptonite is sweat rings, right? Because there's no way around the fact that sweat rings make you look sloppy, make you look nasty. Does it make you look cool? No. Are they inevitable? No. Because my boys and today's video sponsor, Thompson T, have changed the game and single-handedly personally eliminated sweat rings from the worry and care from most dudes because they have invented something that is so cutting edge, so revolutionary. If there was a Nobel Peace Prize for style, what? Deep V? Why the deep V? Let me show you. I'll show you in a second. Um, they would win it because sweat rings have killed the stylish look of guys throughout history. Here's the deal. The way that it works, there is a pad. This pad that is sewn into each and every Thompson T stops sweat in its track. Sweat starts, right? Because you start heating up. You start getting nervous. Whatever. You just live because dudes sweat. And all of a sudden, the sweat starts coming. It's like, I'm coming for your shirt. Now, normally, if you had an undershirt on, it would stop it a little bit. But then, like, in, like, half a second, it pops through that undershirt. Not with the Thompson T. Not with this bad boy. It's a shield. It's a protective shield that keeps sweat Boom! Behind locked doors. Yes, I am passionate about undershirts. Let me actually, this black one probably won't work with this light blue fabric because the fabric is light. That is one of the reasons why they have different colored undershirts. It comes in light gray, it comes in white, but it also comes in this color, which is spectacular. Thompson T has a bunch of different fits, a bunch of different fabrics. Um, they've got slim fit, they've got regular fit. Check this out, all right? Remember how I was talking about casual cool, you can't let the undershirt show? No problem. Check it out. You can't even tell I'm wearing an undershirt, right? And I've still got two buttons undone, making it look more casual and more cool. Guys, here's the deal. Thompson T, in my opinion, is one of the best inventions ever. The guys are incredible. They were on Shark Tank. I think that every guy needs at least one Thompson T in his wardrobe. There's a link down below, special custom link for us for you to grab them at a great deal. Guys, Thompson is changing the game and quite frankly I think they should win a Nobel Peace Prize for helping guys look casual cool. Just to prove how incredible Thompson T's are I'm gonna leave this outfit on for the rest of the video and at the end we're gonna do a little check to see. It's hot as hell in my studio and so it'll be the perfect test. Number seven rule for casual cool. Small holes in your jeans? Good. Holes in your shirt? 
bad. Eighth rule to casual cool is learn to layer. This includes, but is not limited to, lightweight sweaters, zip-up hoodies, leather jackets, denim jackets. Experiment with layering different pieces, different options. It's a great way to add depth and dimension to your outfit, making it look cooler. The ninth rule to casual cool is... Great shades. Sunglasses, in my opinion, are just one of those accessories that make every single dude, every single outfit look a little cooler. And last, but probably should be first, the tenth rule of casual cool is wear what you love. If you feel good about what you're wearing, everybody else can see it because you wear it with confidence. Gentlemen, life is too short to wear clothes you don't love. It's also too damn hot in the studio. I am a glistening sweaty mess but boom what <laughs> exactly tops and t you rock so hard it is ridiculous thanks for keeping me casual cool